way she's programmed, okay? So in other words, what are we programmed to do right now? To be like that real estate baron who drives that big, you know, $140,000 car um, and lives in that, you know, uh, 20,000 square foot mansion. So that's, that's the message that we're communicating. So my message is that, the, the, is, is simply that that's changing and that needs to change. But, but guess what? That's good for everybody. This, this kind of, you know, uh, what is, for instance, Occupy Wall Street about? Well, it's about the fact that we're not, there, there are certain members of our society who simply don't think that it's a sustainable, good, reasonable idea for the continuing uh, demise of the middle class. That the rich have gotten richer and the poor have gotten poorer uh, enough and that we are at a point where this is clearly unsustainable and if we don't do something about it we're going to go back into the days of feudalism so uh, whether they're right or wrong I could, I'm not here to, to uh, cast a judgment but I am saying that there's, there's something to the concept in my estimation that we need to take better care of one another and that's, and that's not pessimism, that's optimism I guess that's what I'm saying, is that I believe that everybody, including, um, you know, we, to, to give is, um, is just as blessed as to receive, I, I guess. And as we, we look past the thin veil of material pleasure, we see a, a great world of pleasure behind that. In other words, there's more to life than simply, you know, driving fast cars.